Welcome, thank you for stopping by, and I hope you are having a fantastic day, my fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It means so much that you stopped by today's episode, because I need to ask you, where's the rest of Town Hall 16? Yes, now, of course, many of you, as I recently realized in the video that talked about the average Town Hall level, many of you are not anywhere near Town Hall 16, but those that are, are asking, what is wrong, what is going on, and where is the rest of Town Hall 16? Now, if you are a fan of the channel, you probably saw the Town Hall 16 Gem to Max episode. And I have to say, thank you very much, those of you that watched, those of you that made it possible by using creator code Galadon in the shop in any and all Supercell games before you make a purchase. It did make a huge difference. And without that, we probably would not have been able to do it. However, this was probably the easiest of most recent Town Hall Gem to Max episodes. It felt like it took less, not only because I had a massive storage of magic items, but simply there were many defenses that didn't get upgraded. Think about the fact that Archer Towers and Cannons didn't get upgraded, they got combined. And that actually creates another problem that I'm seeing frequently in Town Hall 16 for a future video. But what I wanted to address today is what is likely to come in the next update, right? There's obviously going to be more added to the game and the balance, right? Okay, you know what? I've talked about the balance enough recently. A lot of players say that it's just fine the way it is. A lot of players are super upset that offense is just too strong, which was a complaint that we heard for about a year at Town Hall 15 as well. Uh, and okay, let's just move on to the current state of Town Hall 16 as it stands right now as a fully maxed out or, well, the asterisk maxed out player, right? We have all of the builders free, we've got the sceneries, we've got the skins, we've got the... Alright, we've got another epic piece of hero equipment. Yes, I know, the Frozen Arrow. And actually, let's go ahead and take a moment out of today's episode to thank the Frozen Arrow for giving me something else to do because I was just about to be done. I was maxing out my Seeking Shield, and that felt good. Only needed one more level on that and the Royal Gem. So thank goodness. There you go. We're done. No, we're not because, well, we get to start all over. And then, okay, I'll, I'll also say this. I know I should be using the Vamp Stash on the Barbarian King. I really feel like that's the next item after the Frozen Arrow that we work on. I trust what Itsu has to say. And to be honest, I haven't had that much time to play with the Vamp Stash on the developer build, nor did I really get a chance to use the Frozen Arrow that much. I'm just trusting that if it's epic, you've got to equip it and max it out as quickly as possible. I'm also trying to avoid going ridiculous on the gems, on the money spent in the game in getting there. And so far, so good, right? We obviously have, wait, yes, okay, we can spend it's only about 13, 1100 gems per week on the ores that show up in the weekly deals, and then, of course, right now we have the Lunar Festival. You can buy a ton over there with the whole red envelope scam. I mean, deal. If you go to the shop, the event deals, you can see the starry or there's a massive amount there. But I'm going to wait and farm as much as I can because remember, those red envelopes become more plentiful in bases as the event progresses. So we don't need to spend a bunch of money on these dragon medals. By the way, you could spend... $99 US if you wanted on nine of those packages. Instead, Galadon is going to buy the bling package because we never turn down a rune. We always use code Galadon, like I, I hope you, you would consider as well. And yes, the bling twins, 25 bucks US. Thank you again for using code Galadon. I am going to pick this one up and add to the magic item collection. However, I don't think that I really need to buy any of these others. Now, you guys let me know, okay? Book of Heroes, Book of Building. Let's just take a quick look. Books of Heroes, I have 163. So let me know in the comments if maybe I need a few more. Book of Building, certainly I only have 30, but 81 books of everything makes up for it, I think. Then, of course, runes starting to look pretty good, but I think we're going to need more even with just the wall upgrades. And okay, we'll get on to that in just a moment. Let's talk about back to the blacksmith. Getting the frozen arrow as close as we can to usable. I really kind of feel like I want to wait until she's in the 20s. And yes, I just assumed a gender for the arrow it's, itself. But I want to wait until the frozen arrow is in the 20s before I replace the archer queen's 
healing puppet, which of course I spent tons on upgrading. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, okay, uh, what else? Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the remaining upgrades for what I think is likely going to be the next update we see at Town Hall 16. So we took and put together kind of a progress base here. Obviously, 175 of the level 16 walls still exist. Back in the early days of Town Hall 15, and I'm just going off memory right now, and forgive me, I have the memory of a goldfish. I don't think that we went to fully maxed out walls on the second update, right? I think it was like three stages. So I would be surprised if all of the walls became fully upgradable, although it is only 175. It's, it's possible. Either way, it's going to be a huge investment in resources. Now, the clan castle, it didn't get an upgrade. Obviously, these cannons and archer towers did not, although some are getting combined. So maybe those will get another level or maybe those will get combined as well. You never know. Some of them could, maybe one more of each. The mortars, air defenses, wizard towers, expos, and bomb towers all got upgrades. Then you have the combined defenses there. Now, let's talk about scatter shots, eagle artillery, the monolith, the air... Well, yeah, I don't know. I hear a lot of people talk about how OP the air sweepers are. The spell towers and the most underrated defense in the game, builder huts, hidden teslas. Those need new levels. Oh, well, okay. Not that they need them. But if you're not going to nerf any troops, then in order to bring the game into better balance, maybe consider giving them another level. Then army camps. I don't know. Army camps, do we really need more units to attack with? Let's put them over on the completed side. And then, I mean, if you want to have a sink for your time and your builders, then all Clash needs to do is give us another level on mines, collectors, and elixir pumps, dark elixir drills, because that's gonna be a long upgrade right there. And to be honest, now that I sit here and look at all of the different things that could or might not be upgradable throughout the rest of Town Hall 16, I feel like there's a big opportunity here to bring balance back to the game without nerfing troops, but rather by making defenses more powerful. I don't know, what do you guys think? There is a balancing coming, no doubt. Look at all of these decorations, by the way. Pretty proud of all these. Okay, Galafam, that's it. Thank you for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. Feed me back, meaning tell me your opinion down in the comments. I will make sure I read them. I appreciate you. Get out there, make the best of the rest of your day. Be one thing here, be kind to other people. Animals on the planet, I'll see you back here again tomorrow for more Votex. Okay, right? Yes. Minutes of my life back, you said nothing, not a thing.